Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now it is uh, community-based and aspires to build self-esteem among young people, teach uh, theater, making skills, communication skills, as well as help in enhancing creative thinking. Well, that's the Soweto Theater's youth development program titled Ditsumong Children's Theater. Now the program is now calling on young people aged between uh, 7 and 21 years to audition to take part in the 26th theatre classes. Now tell us more. We're joined uh, by the project coordinator, Miranda Fitla. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Morning. To, let's give a background into uh, the Tsumong Children's Theatre. What is it and what inspired it? Uh, the program was inspired by the community. Mm -hmm. When the theatre opened, uh, community members came through the space and they've asked us that, can we create something for youth development? Mm. And by that time in the year 2014, we had a trainees program. So in August, our trainees were given a task to go into development in Soweto, so they came up with the program. Mm. What does the program consist of? Uh, the program consists of uh, basics of performance arts. Mm. We're not an institution. Therefore, we are called a program. So we teach the basics of drama, uh, music, we call it sound, we just do uh, harmonies and we place certain music with productions. And we call, we have something called, they call it dance, we call it movement mm -hmm. because we don't do more details in yeah. it. So it's basically the basics of performance art, of performing arts. Mm. And how do you measure the, uh, the success of a program like this? Um, well, um, we measure it in, in, in a way that we, how we, we would do it is normally we would just, um, we would call, we would call through the, the kids mm. and then the picking up of them, it's, we take the shy one, the, the most shyest, mm. we take those with potential, yeah. we take those that are very hyper yeah. and then we mix them all together yeah. and then we cook up a pot of newcomers, mm. of, of, of artists. Now, there's auditions. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay, we've got audition this coming Saturday on the 30th of January. Uh, and we need to, we're given target by the city that we need to have 100 kids this okay. year. So um, the audition process is going to happen on Saturday, whereby we're going to throw in elements of visual arts. Uh, the artists are saying that we need to consider kids that do graphic through drawings, yeah. as well as puppetry. So there are kids that they are very good with their hands. So we need to consider those, those learners as well. Mm -hmm. So this weekend, we're going to be auditioning learners. Uh, basically, kids that are very shy, but it's not an, it's not an intense audition. I was just advising parents uh, when, they, when they were coming through the, 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 the whole of in the entire week and the past weeks that we're not actually going to be auditioning kids. We're assessing children. Yeah. Because in most cases, you find that parents are the ones that are forcing these kids to do the mm. program. It's not actually the children that they want to do the program. So what, what we do, we just assess that does the child really want to do this or not? Mm. And w what specifically are you looking for? I mean, you've spoken about visual art and puppetry, but what are the other elements in these kids that you'll be looking for? We're looking for young performers mm. in Soweto, you know, um, and we, we, we're introducing theatre at an early age because theatre in our black culture is just a taboo, you know. So for us doing such a program, we're introducing theatre at an early age. All right, let's talk about the ages and all these other requirements for Saturday. Okay, um, they don't have to prepare anything. We, we do a group audition. We make the kids do certain, we just make them do certain things. We give them activities to do. Uh, I don't do the audition myself. I've got facilitators that are responsible to do that. Those are the people that are going to be teaching these kids for the entire year. And the kids, they must just come dressed comfortable. And they must just come through. And we just have a fee that is very ridiculous. It's mm. just a commitment fee. Mm -hmm. It's 25 rand a month. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. So it's straight on for only 25 rand. Only 25 rand. Oh, wow. Rand. <laughs> okay. And uh, what time? Okay, the auditions will start at 9. Mm -hmm. We're going we're gonna to wrap up until at 5. Yeah. Yeah, it's going right. to be so a So for whole 25 day. rand, your child can be part of this program at this way to theater. Seven, between 7 and 21 years old uh, to be part of the 2016 theater classes. Miranda, thank you so much for talking to us. It's a uh, pleasure. Can I just highlight something? Yeah. However, but the, par the parents need to just call through the theater. Yeah. Uh, my details, I hope they're appearing on the screen <laughs> somewhere. Okay, give us your details. Uh, my email address is mimi at sovetotheater.com. 
Uh, the contact numbers are 11 mm -hmm. They need to register their children for the audition. Oh, okay. So pe parents need to register first before yes, they before, can just arrive. Yes. Okay. So it's mimi at Soweto Theatre dot com. Dot com. All right. So you need to register your child if you want to be part of those auditions next week, Saturday, at the Soweto Theatre, right opposite um, Jabulani Mall. Yes. Uh, they're in Soweto. If your child is between 7 and 21, mimi at Soweto Theatre dot com. You need to register your child. And it's only 25 rand. All right, let's take another break. Stay with us.